so it's nice and toasty. Hey guys, Brad here with Skyline Construction and today we're going to be taking a look at this DeWalt heater. This is the 20 volt max uh, lithium ion 68,000 BTU heater. It's a pretty sweet little unit. Uh, as you can see, it's quite small. It measures in at 17 inches front to back. And height wise, we're looking, if you go to the handle, we're about 17 and in inches height wise. Um, oh, and width, I guess, we're about 10 inches. So nice and compact little unit. And it runs on propane and a battery. You can throw a flex volt in here or a 20 volt uh, max battery. Right now we're running the 6.0. So I think as far as runtime goes, it just really depends on what battery you're sticking in here. Um, the 12 amp hour obviously is going to run for a long time and the 6 amp hour you can get quite a long run time on that as well. So on the front is where your battery goes and the reason we have a battery in this unit um, it runs the fan and it runs the igniter so you have to have a power source. There's the other models which I'll show uh, which you plug in to a power source and then you run propane so you need those two, two items to make this thing work, okay? Um, just for you guys, this model is the DXH70CFAV, okay? Otherwise, it's the 68,000 BTU 20 volt max heater. Um, this is something you do not wanna use indoors, okay? Do not use this in a camper. Don't use this in an enclosed space. You will die. All right, this is gonna put off some serious fumes. So the only time you're using this heater is if you need a heat, say a hoarded in space, but you've got some fresh air coming in. You have to have that fresh air. Uh, I've had a serious situation 15 years ago where I almost died because of a, a bad install of a overhead heater. Um, that's just straight up carbon monoxide poisoning. So. Make sure you got good ample ventilation, all right? And this is just to heat a space, say if you're doing some stucco work or brick work, then I would recommend using this. Or if you wanna heat up a garage and then turn it off when you're in there, you could probably do that, but make sure you've got some fresh air coming in, all right? So let's get to the operation here. Um, so I've got my battery in, I've got my propane tank hooked up and overall length of hose let's just take a quick look you can see it's it's coiled up so i'd say about 10 12 feet all right and it screws into the back and then to turn this thing on on the front here we've got a fan button and then this is our variable speed so how much propane we're pumping into this this will determine the amount of heat and this is the igniter okay so we'll turn it on you can hear the fan running and it starts with the uh the little igniter inside and then we just press this button and hold it down nope okay so now it's come on so it's on low and i don't know if you can see the flame in there but i'll just crank it up to high all right, so it's nice and toasty. And then to turn it off, just simply press the button again, and that's it. The reason I like this, the reason I got it, was because we were heating an area. Um, our generator was totally maxed out on the other side of the project, and I couldn't get power over to where I needed to heat. So I thought this would be a great unit because it's got the battery and all I needed was the propane tank. And typically we're running, you know, 100 pound tanks or larger. We don't usually use the small barbecue tanks. Um, they don't last very long, especially when you're, you know, you're doing this kind of heat. Um, I think the 100 pound tank, we were getting, I don't know, maybe six or eight hours on that thing. So not the greatest economy but still you know did the job and then i'm going to show you its older brother 
this one here. This is a little bigger unit and it's a plug-in unit and it's 125,000 BTUs. Okay, so it's a little bit bigger. This one's measuring in at 19 inches long, whereas this one was about 17. And the only difference between the two will be the heat output on this one and the fact that you have to plug it in. All right. So if you've got the propane, you can run this 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Whereas this one, you've got to be monitoring your battery. And if you've got a, a, you know, a large tank like a pig or whatever, then, then you're good to go. Um, but both really solid, good heaters. I'm, I'm very happy with them. Um, yeah, I can't say anything else really about them except I, I like them. So, all right, guys. I uh, hope you liked the video. Subscribe. Hit that notify bell. And uh, keep on crushing it. We'll catch you later.